Hello everyone, Boone here. Welcome back to Brictorious Live, the premier live experience for LEGO fans just like you here on Boone Builds. Welcome back. First of all, he has been uh, he's been here before as our co-host. It is Brian, Bricks O'Brien Saviano. Brian, welcome back to the stream. You've seen him here before as well. He is a contestant on LEGO Masters Season 2. It's Moto. Give it up for Moto, everybody. And of course, Moto's teammate from Season 2, LEGO Masters. He's never been here before. First time on Boon Builds. It is Paris. Welcome, Paris. Yeah, and nice now, it, now it is time for us to, to look at this and 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 dance. Chatting with the four of us. Welcome to Brictorious. And 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 we dance around the screen too. It's, gonna be it's like a conga line. <laughs> Welcome to Brictorious. Welcome to Brictorious, everybody. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. head on over to the live chat. Nick is here. Dan is here. Cody O. Melissa, one of our longtime viewers and supporters. Welcome back. Jake Sadovich, everybody. Jake Sadovich. The Jake Sadovich. Remember that name. Remember that name, Jake Sadovich. You're going to need it later in the stream. There's a clue that you didn't even know you needed. DW Bricks is here. Spot the Magic Ninja. Spot the Magic Ninja. Dave Morgan is here. Lego Matic. Aaron, uh, Kahele, and Steve, you all are incredible. Thank you for being here for Brictorious. Brictorious. And it's time to dance again. It's gonna be glorious. Welcome to Brictorious. Studs Manor is here. Chatting Simply with an orangutan Morris. is here. Robert Frost. Welcome Thank you all so Brictorious. much for being here. It's a blast. It's gonna be gonna, Bring this down slowly. Welcome to Brictorious. Welcome to Brictorious Live, everybody. Paris, Moto, Brian, thank you so much for being here tonight. Happy to be here, bud. Thank so, you so much for letting us be here. Absolutely. Paris, this is your first time on, on, on screen here. We've I seen you. We've encountered you in the live chat. <laughs> but you are here on screen yes. at Boone Builds. What has been going on with you? Holy cow. Life's been busy. Uh, well, I mean, geez, I'm on Victorious. I mean, that's like the highlight of my event, uh, my life right now. Oh, jeez, that's sweet. <laughs> uh, I, I, we're going to ask you about all those Lego sets you got behind us a little bit later. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, I love that background you got going on there. A couple of built modulars, it looks like, and a bunch of boxes. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to you. Moto. <laughs> Welcome back, my friend, Moto. I get to see you next month face to face. Is that true? That is true. <laughs> that is absolutely true. And we have something very special planned for the audience for that week. It's going to be one heck of an epic, Victorious. It's going to be incredible. Thursday night, we Victorious. Might, we might melt down the Lego now. internet. Yeah, we might melt down the Lego YouTube. It's going to be we, awesome. We might. There's going to be a lot of faces. I don't want to. I, I feel like it's a little bit early to talk about it. It's more than a month away. Mm -hmm. um, yep. But it will be. A, it will be a Thursday night in August, and there will be more of the faces that you've seen in these squares here on Boon Builds live streams, more of them in one place than maybe ever before. Um, so, so that should be fun and we'll make sure we stream it. And Brian says, not me. I'm not flying all to no. all the way to uh, Oregon for one night. He's not, he's not crazy like me. No, no. I, be, being on the East coast, I'm not, I'm not going to go for a picnic. I'll go for something else, but the picnic <laughs> y'all can have. That's fine. Brian, uh, what is going on with you, man? Your hair gets shorter every time I see you. Which is better than it getting uh, increasingly larger in volume and, and thread count. Um, no, I've, I've been good doing all the things on the internet, maintaining the, the momentum, the energy, uh, doing all the things on Beyond the Brick, my own things, living life, living large, you know? That's what you got to do. Yeah, so Beyond the Brick, speaking of, there's, there's some news about a change coming to Beyond the Brick. Is that, uh, can, yeah, can yeah. That? So the, the channel is making a pivot from being uh, focused entirely on Mega Blocks um, from Lego. 
Uh, that change is being affected immediately uh, right now. So congratulations to John and Joshua. Uh, total pivot. Uh, round of applause in the chat. No. Uh, but the, the, the quarantine cast is ending. The show that you are familiar with back here, the print has indicated that one year the show has been going on, but now the quarantine is not quite the quarantine anymore. The guys are getting back to doing shows, taking a look at mocks and doing their thing, and thus we'll have a little bit less time to deal with me on a weekly basis. So there's going to be more live streams and whatnot in the future, but the quarantine cast as a program will no longer uh, exist after next week, next Tuesday. And, and speaking uh, of quarantine cast, I'm going to do the best I can to be in that very last quarantine cast. I'm going to come. I'm going to follow the link. I'm going to be there and we'll have a great time. But speaking of quarantine cast, ish, daddy. did I do OK? <laughs> you, you're not as good as me, Hello. admittedly, but ish, you're getting there. Daddy. You're getting there. Yeah. Something hit it, like hit that. It, man. Thank hit you it. so much. You got to You got to. It's a certain amount of presence, Boone. You got to say Esh Daddy of LME. Daddy. Wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, Nineteen dollar ninety nine cents <laughs> super chat. Thank oh, you very wow. much, Esh Daddy. Uh, LME Toys, building your mind one brick at a time. What is, he he says that every time. So is that his brand? Yeah, it, it's some sort of variation on that. You know, he has a, he's learned to have a little fun with it too. You know, he's been a very integral part of the show as it's gone on. Number one sponsor of all time. Brick Mania who? We got Ash Daddy. All right. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you, Brickham's Den, for being here. Thank you, Marvel Kid 25 for being here. Monica Berry is in the chat saying hi to Dawn. So Dawn must be here. Right there. Welcome. Thanks for being here, Dawn. We'll get you, we'll get you on here one of these one of these weeks very, very soon. Um yeah. so proud of what you all did in the first couple episodes of Lego Masters. Um, but let's let's can we talk a little bit about Lego Masters? Sure. So it's your channel. You do it. So, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it was <laughs> you guys you guys made it four episodes? Yes. Is that true? Uh yes. Is that right? Yes. Four? Yeah. Yeah, it was four. Raise your hand if you're in. Well, no, the we live made chat. we made it. We made it through three, and then we lost on the fourth. So we didn't make it through the fourth. Well, but you were in the entire episode. <laughs> we were in. We were in. We were yes. We were being filmed actively for four. Yeah. If you're in the live chat and you would like to hear uh, more about Lego Masters, do a little raise your hand in the live chat. And if I don't, do you have see to roll like a spoiler raised, warning we'll now. It's do we need a spoiler I, warning? Banner? Maybe we need a, spo a spoiler warning. So we've seen, I've seen five episodes. Uh, actually, yes, I've seen five, five episodes. A lot of the world has seen five, five episodes. But if you're behind, we may be talking about things that occurred through episode four in this video. So there is your spoiler warning. There's your spoiler warning. So yeah, keep, keep it a week behind is always good for people who just aren't up and they're going to stream it. The one big question I have about episode four. How did you determine who was going to wear the hat? Oh. <laughs> we fought over it in the beginning. Paris convinced me. He, he he convinced me. He convinced me he needed to wear it. He gave me very good reasons. Yeah, I mean, you know, I figured it would be pretty hot, and I wanted an opportunity to, to for all the ladies to check me out on wearing this awesome Lego hat. <laughs> that that is not the thing. reason you gave me. <laughs> what, 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 you what? swindled me. <laughs> what was it? I don't remember. I, that's the only thing I could think of. No, you, said, wanted to, you, you wanted to uh, you wanted to represent your community. You thought oh, yeah. it was important mm -hmm. uh, that you also are you know a public face walking down the runway. Oh, yeah, um, for yourself, you wanted to do it for your daughter and, and make her impressed to see you on a runway. Yeah. Um, and there was another socially conscious reason, which is it, it kind of lost. I lost it. But yeah. But after that bombardment of social responsibility, I caved. Yeah. <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> ladies, though, come on. I mean, <laughs> Joseph said, "Who has the more stable head shape?" I, uh, uh, does, oh, I've been calling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most stable head shape? It's not the shape, Joseph. It's how you carry it. Yeah. How do we carry it anyway? Yeah, there are people who are practicing <laughs> with books and walking with sheets of paper on their head. 
<laughs> so if you guys could name and this is a question for each of you so maybe you have a maybe you have a moment that you would share uh, together or maybe you each have your own idea about how to answer this question but if you had to point to one uh one moment in the time that the two of you shared with the rest of that cast on lego master season two that was just really the top for you. What was that that number one moment or number one piece of the experience for you, Paris? Uh, something that we can talk about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't talk about something you can't talk about. Oh, yeah, okay. Don't talk about things I can't talk about. Um, so, in retrospect, I mean, so I mean, in all honesty, it was really about the biggest. Uh, the biggest thing I took away was just. Uh, just, just my 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 castmates, really, you know. Mm -hmm. um, that pro that impromptu lunch that we had was just epic. That was cool. That turned out to be really super cool for me. And um, and and I've said this one before for sure. Uh, you know, being backstage on episode four, I did not want to go out there. Um, it was the love of, of of that the cast gave me, and mm -hmm. and Moda in particular. That's what gave me the uh, impetus to to go down that runway, and then also, um, you know, during the goodbyes. Those are the those are the top three moments I'd say for me. Oh, well, thank you for sharing, Moto. But what would you? Anyway, it was also the the whole, the whole thing breaking apart and stuff. So <laughs> say that again. The the whole thing breaking apart. No, it was just it. That was also an epic moment of the snake falling off. My... Moto. Oh, it looks like we have a little Moto glitch. <laughs> What? Moto's uh, half blur. There he is. Moto. Wait. Am I okay? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, Am he's. I'm fine. Oh, it it's hard. It's hard for me to hear you. What do you think? Should I put him full screen and and we'll all? Well, even we can all make fun of him now. D Domo Narigato, Mister Moto Bato. Oh. Yeah, he's, oh. He's uh. Oh, oh wait. Oh. There you go. Hey. Okay, I I switched to cellular, so let's see if this yeah. works. <laughs> cool. I so swear the squirrel, have a, the squirrel's not fed. Um, do you have a favorite moment? Yeah, collectively the Lego Master Con lunch uh, exhibit was awesome. Um, for me, on set with the cast, it had to be episode four when we were doing uh, the glamour shots. We had to accompany the models for those and that mm. was that was unbelievably cool that was cool. um for paris and myself there was this moment where we were lying with our backs on one of the angled pillars and like instead of stargazing we were like just gazing at the set ceiling and we were looking at all the lighting kit stuff that was there and we noticed um, some stuff hanging down and, you know, commented on it. But then uh, I, I saw this like very unusual object, like way up in the rafters. I said, do you think that's a thing? Par said, yeah, I think that is a thing. We're like, how did it get up there? We didn't know, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, the, it's the quiet moments in between all the activity that I treasure the most, but being alone with Paris kind of lying on the floor and just, just gazing up into the rafters um, was, was really cool. That was a cool, quiet moment. Well, that's awesome. Uh, thank you both for sharing. Brian, have you been watching this season? Uh, I talk about it in almost every piece of online Lego live streaming content I do. So I'm like almost contractually obligated to. Yes. Have <laughs> okay. Do you, do you have, do you have one favorite moment so far from, from the viewer experience, Brian? Oh, I, I can't necessarily pin it on a moment. I've enjoyed the, the individual moments, seeing the teams be at their best and be at their worst because there's not mm -hmm. one team taking the whole thing the entire time or three teams kind of rotating around. There's a lot more um, range of skill being on display from each of the different teams. So it's a, it's a different moment for every episode, but that concept in itself, I'm liking and seeing a lot more in this season. Yeah, that's uh, I really they did think it's amazing. Television. 
to me how how many different teams we've seen perform very well so far. Um, you know, I feel like oh, in it's season like, it's one, like it goes up. Yeah, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up and goes down. It's just I think that the 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 margins if you want to call it that, the building margin is very close between all these teams. Yeah, I totally agree with and you. That, and that little bit, you know, can jigger you up or down quite a bit in the, in yeah. the you know, in the competition. I mean, they really did a really good job of casting, I think. Mm. Uh, you know, they knew what they were looking for. I mean, they had me on. I mean, you know. But, um... <laughs> me out of the spirit. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> had to get that out. Um, yeah, no, I think they really did a good job of casting. They really tried to look for diversity. They looked at different skill sets. I mean, I got grilled. I know that. Uh, I can tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, I went through that. I know everybody else did. And I think it just shows, you know, I really do. It, everybody's got their specialties, and, and the lines are very, very close um, yeah. I think among the teams. Yeah, the talent is just exquisite. Awesome. Cool. Well, uh, welcome. If you've joined us in just the last few minutes, it is Bricktorious episode five. We're here with Paris. We've got Moto. Brian is back helping me steer the ship tonight. Um, thank you to, I just wanted to say hello to Wolverine is here said, hi Boone. How do I say Wolverine is here is here. Is that, is that how is it? Wolverine is here is here. Wolverine. Thank you, Wolverine is here. <laughs> Nick Nick says there's already been more different weekly winners in season two than in season one. Yeah. So we're seeing Wow, yeah. And we're not that far in. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I think it is time. It is time for us to have a minifig mystery. What? Oh, yes. I love minifig mystery. I'm supposed to talk over that first part so that it doesn't feel like the song is so long. All right. <laughs> Steve says, you guys are great. Thank you very much, Steve. Get rid of that and add this in. So here it is. We have a video, another video character. And... Let's see some of the options that we would have in this series of video figures might be uh, that ghoul, that like ghoul rocker girl. We've got like an alien DJ, right? We've got a, like a, a cowboy guy. What do you think his deal is? Is he a space cowboy? Wow. <laughs> um, we've got like kind of a rocker shark and uh, a cheerleader. There's the saxophone ice cream person and yep. a little like is this a, a cheetah i don't know any of their official is that names. A leopard leopard it's like Do you know if you know if you know any of the official names of these video bandmates characters uh stick those in the chat now and who has a guess paris would you like to uh venture a guess as to who might be in here hmm. let's see well, I'm hoping for the uh, the shark head. That would be kind of cool. Shark head. But space uh, yeah. cowboy. Uh, yeah, Brian, you gotta you gotta guess. I believe I correctly guessed the last time it was the bunny. I like the ice cream saxophonist, but I am going to go with the cheerleader on this one. Wow. Okay, Moto, you have a guess. Uh, I'm gonna stick with a feline theme. So, <laughs> if it's a cheetah or a jaguar or large cat with speckles whatever okay. that character is all right uh <laughs> let's see matt clark thinks it's a shark that rhymed <laughs> Lori bird Lori bird is here thinks it's the cheerleader mel bell says i like the cowboy better though all right let's see who it is should have had something to cut this with but i'm just going to tear the box Oh my goodness. What? Paris, did you did you were you correct? I felt it, you know. I felt the vibe through the No way. Through the ether? Sure did. We uh you don't win anything, Paris, because I have to give this away to the winner of a new game that we have coming. That's right. A new game. We do not have trivia tonight. We have another fun game coming. Yeah. As I told you before, I was I was expecting a hundred grand, you know. 
I was expecting a hundred grand too. Paris. I was expecting a hundred grand. I was gonna say, remember who you're well. talking to, bud. I mean, if anyone wants to give me a hundred grand, we can all be on the same page. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. This this figure, this figure is rad. That is cool. I almost don't I don't want to give this away. But I will. I will give this away. We have a new game coming in just a little bit. Um, we're going to do the uh, a little focus on Paris and Moto before we get to the game. But uh, we've got a new game tonight. So something different than trivia, but everyone in the chat, just like trivia, you'll be able to participate in tonight's new game. Wait and see what it is. Wow, that thing is so and, cool. And you yeah. could be the winner. You could be the winner of this rocking shark. That is one of the coolest minifigs with the mohawk, I mean, boy, yeah, it's like a fluorescent gonna, orange. I like that. I'm gonna have to get my hands do on you, this. Do you think yeah. that that shark is related to the monkey kid cat? The monkey kid cat could be a similar mohawk. Yeah, yeah, because it's a blue cat with a mohawk, isn't it? Sandy's cat. I was gonna say, could is he related to the land shark from uh, season one of Lego <laughs> Masters? <laughs> Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah. It's got that stance, but is it singing? Uh, well, he's in video. I think he's, he's like, of grinning. Course. Well, oh, there you go. Like a, oh, he comes. Look at this. He comes with a, he comes with a microphone. Okay. So he should be a singer. I mean, here's some bit, the beat bits. Like, I look like you, man. Kind of looks like who? Kind of looks like you actually with the hair and the mic and the well and the shark teeth, of course. He definitely has a boon spirit about him. Yeah. So we can put these beat bits on the little stand. Okay, stick around. We'll play for we will play awesome. Brictorious Word Search in just a few minutes, and you will be playing for the rockin' shark. All right. Let's get rid of this guy. And it is going to be time for a full spotlight. Woot woot. Let's go. Time to board this proverbial Winnebago. We're talking about the awesome fans of Lego. So build your mock and ship it into drive. It's time for a full spotlight. Live. All right. It is April Spotlight Live, the name of my old live stream. Uh, it has been brought in as a segment in my new live stream. So our guests of the evening are Moto and Paris. I'm going to put them on top. So here's a, here's a question for you. Oh, before we get into this, we'll go ahead and uh, check this out. Bam, Crest Hill with a $4.99 super chat. Hi, Boone, Brian, Moto, and Paris. Sorry to see you guys voted off. Boone, great commercial. Love you all. You guys rock. Keep up the good work. Bam, Crest Hill, Bricks and Minifigs. Thank you so much for supporting the stream here tonight. And uh, thank you for all the kind words. Paris. Yes, my, my first My thank first so question much. for you. My first question for you is, how did you know that you wanted to try for Lego Masters? Ah. I didn't. Um, would be the answer. That's the legit answer. I actually, I had no intention to apply. I hadn't thought that I would be qualified, and uh, I was plucked out of obscurity, as I mentioned, by the casting. And uh, they, I had been in the press here in Connecticut, and uh, they found me. They asked me to if I would uh, be interested to apply. I said okay. And actually, I should say I thought it was spam in the beginning. I was going to ignore it. And I happened to be uh, talking with Jessica Ragsy from the first season, who I'm sure you know very well. Absolutely. Yeah, on the chat, I'm not sure. Hi, Jess, if you're on. But um, I just happened to be talking to her, and I, and I, and I kind of threw it at her. I said, hey, I got this email. You think I should reply? Is it, you think it's legit? And she's like, oh, totally. You should totally reply. I was like, really? I mean, honestly, I would have I ignored it if it wasn't for her. But, yeah. But, but I did. I've heard a, I've heard a number, especially in first season, uh, before the first season, a lot of people thought it was some kind of gag, you know, a yeah. phishing scheme I mean, um, or, or, you know, spam. But uh, 
No, it's legit people, and there are there are a, it's a whole team of people out there that are it's their job to beat the pavement, uh, proverbially, and um and and get people for the seasons, and they consider tons of people, you know, they consider thousands of people, and uh, and only a handful make it to the screen. So, what did they notice, Paris? You you said you had gotten a little bit of of publicity in your area for for your for your camps. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I'm sure it was my dashingly good looks, of course. But uh, beyond that, um, uh, Next Chance Morning Pants has been pretty big here in Connecticut, I think. Uh, we've been growing for the last five years, and a lot of kids know us. We've had 4,000 kids come through our programs now. so And they all, they, a lot of them call me Mr. Lego, so I think that had a lot to do with it. And, um, yeah, I, just, uh, I think they just found me, so which is nice. I, I love the community. We have a really strong Lego community here. And I'm just so proud. I had people coming in uh, all the time now, uh, even just earlier today, um, you know, so, you know, just as they said, me putting Canton on the map, Canton is where our, our location is. And uh, I don't know if that's exactly right, but um, we definitely have a really strong community here of Lego. I mean, North America headquarters of Lego is right up the street here. And we have a lot of kids of employees from Lego that take our classes and, uh, you know, um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just a fun place to be. Uh, Lego is definitely strong here, so it was really nice to be a part of it. Awesome, cool. Uh, Moto, what was your first spark of? I gotta I gotta try to get on that show. When Will Arnett announced it at the end of season one. <laughs> really, you knew then? Yeah, the minute. I, oh yeah, yeah. I knew then I was going to apply. It took me a while to find, you know, to find and fill out the application. But like, it was about, I think a month or two after the end of season one that I applied, did the whole full on video submission, portfolio shots, all that stuff. Long, long write-ups, all the details they, I thought they would want to see. And, uh, but I, I, the reason I did it too was I, I had got, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. The reason you did it? Well, I had the confidence because I had started to meet all the Lego masters through YouTube. Um, due to the pandemic, you guys were going through all the YouTube streams, and that's where I was hanging out. Um, and and met Richard and Flynn, then eventually you, and eventually all the other Lego, about half the Lego masters cast online. So by the time the season wrapped, you guys had really... Uh, given me so much positive feedback on my builds and, and kind of me as a person that I, I figured, dang, I, I should go for this thing because because you guys were really encouraging me to 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 give it a go. That's awesome, Moto. Do you think at that last episode yeah. when <laughs> Will announced when Will announced that there would be you know casting for a season two? Uh, do you, do you think we were already in communication? Were, were we, did we already know each other online? He's thinking about it. <laughs> I think Moto's frozen. Yeah, because you and I had first met, um, online through who can we get it from the, you know, who, yeah. Oh, yes. darn, I hope I'm yes. not frozen. You you're freezing but you up and a little I met bit while the show was still airing. We met yeah. when you were conducting. Darn. Yeah, that's well, right. You and I met so... when, when you were doing a YouTube live stream in between it airing, um, because the mass singer had had taken a slot from you guys. Right. So we had a night off, just like y'all did last week, and uh, so I got on and live streamed, and we had a bunch of season one folks on that live stream, and we played a game called Who Can We Get on the Stream? And Moto was one of the people that we got to come onto the stream with, like, no, you know, completely unannounced. Uh, and he no, was, I was on. A no fan, so asked. I was in the chat. I was in the darn chat when Richard of Flint said, get, get this Michael Kanamoto guy on there. And sure enough, I, I, I was in uh, bed. I, Jumped out of bed, forgot my socks. I started building like crazy in front of you guys, and and you were you were I mean you and some of the other guys were really impressed with that technic egg I was putting together. So yes, um, from there I think uh, you know you guys had just been 
giving me uh, encouragement and positive vibe energy. So, so I applied and went through the process. Yeah. Uh, Doc Sampson is here and uh, Dave Morgan <laughs> says, yeah, these hi, are Doc. the Lego masters you're looking for. Uh, hey, hey uh, Doc, uh, you're super cool. Thanks for being here. Um, real quick, there's a couple questions up here. I thought we would maybe we sure. could kind of bounce bounce back and forth between yeah. Lego Masters and just kind of some general other stuff. Um, so well, there's a lot of questions. I'll start to get the answers a lot shorter. Okay, cool. Uh, so we get through more. Dan Schultz says, "What are your favorite themes?" Lego ideas. Yeah, me too. Ideas. Oh man, ideas is so great. Brian. Classic space when I was young. Can we guess? Can we guess Brian's? Uh, Mario. I I signed a blood oath. I have to say Mario. Mm. <laughs> there you go. I think you're a Um, <laughs> Brian, when does Luigi come out? August 1st, but I have him right here. Oh, you have here one. Uh, are you going to take him apart? I uh, no, oh, and Lord. neither are you. Let's go to the next yeah, question. Boone's hey. uh, 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 expecting a shipment so he can... Uh, yeah, Moto Moto and Paris. What are your top three top three Lego sets? Oh, I have a bust of Darth Maul looking at me right now, and uh, the Voltron set, and Boone's fire truck. Oh, come on! That's not one of your top three I'll sets. Give I'll give you guys a tour. It, uh, that's incredible Dang. that you would say that. Uh, Boone's fire truck is one of your top three. I'm, 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 uh, touched yeah. and flattered and impressed yeah. and flabbergasted. Yeah. I can bust your bubble now if you want. Mo oh, oh no, that's oh, fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> that's Moto. Uh, I have three sets that I leave at my desk at my company because it's a security company and there's no way they'll ever get stolen. That's how much I value them. It's the mm. original Galaxy Explorer. I mm. have the Black Seas Barracuda, and I have the original Yellow Lego Castle. All three of those suckers are like right in the zone for being the flagship sets from those themes being introduced, and so that's yeah. that's where I sure. go. Absolutely, absolutely, that is uh, wild. Uh, I think I have. Okay, you said you said Galaxy Explorer, you said the Yellow Castle, and and the Black Seas Barracuda. Barracuda, yeah. Yep, classic oh, space, okay. yellow castle, yeah. Lexus Barracuda. I also would have, if I had a fourth, I have the I have the very first expert builder set, which is now known as Technic. So I have the flagship set from the very first year that Technic was ever released as well. Okay. I also right. have the cowboy one. I have the Fort Ligorito. It's just not put together. Yeah. But yeah, I love classics. I don't know why. Cool. Well, I don't know why that question was just for Moto and Paras. Brian, do you have three favorite sets? Uh, out of contractual obligation, I'll say the Mario starter course, the Luigi starter course, and now taking the number three spot is going to be uh, the yet-to-be-available Boba Fett starship. Uh, that's going to be one of my favorites there. Not, not, not that other name. Boba Fett starship. Boba Fett starship, everybody. Tonight's, tonight's broadcast was brought to you by Boba Fett Starship. Um, <laughs> all right. So, Paris, you said that uh, you could give us a tour. Do you? Is your camera mobile enough that you could uh, uh, show us some of the things you got around there? I can do that. This is our Maker Studio. Yeah, I want to see this. In uh, Canton, Connecticut. And, uh, well, this is our back wall here. And we have the Harry Potter section over here. Ninjago. I'm a big Ninjago fan. I got all those. This, this looks great. Yes. You know, I, I drink from okay. the soda, soda machine all the time. Yes. <laughs> Money out from the ATM. And uh, here's our good guy here. I uh, just uh, built Batmobile just uh, this past weekend. So enjoying that. I uh, love it. That's one of my top three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of uh, top three, here we are. Right there, front and center. Right next to Voltron. Oh, beautiful. Love it. What what were you gonna say oh, when dang. you said you could burst my bubble? Oh, I was gonna say <laughs> uh, save it. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to I don't mean to distract okay. you. You can you can save it for uh, after the you can save it for after the tour. 
Um, but um, yeah, sure, I can do that. That's my uh, my daughter and I. We, we built a haunted house out of uh, some old Larry or uh, old Harry Potter stuff. You know? So um, and uh, do, 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 do. there he is. Better than any security system. Wow. <laughs> the, he's just got it. Anybody even thinks about coming in here. I don't know that uh, you, Paris, you might be the only person I know personally who, who has that sitting in their right? collection. I, I've seen them before, but I don't really know anybody that has one. So this space, Paris, this space is huge. Yeah, well, we do a lot of programs here. You know, we got a lot of uh, Spike Prime. We do uh, Mindstorms, uh, Lego building. We do coding, uh, robotics. We do uh, 3D printing. Garage band, uh, you name it, we do it. As long as it's cool, we do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, like okay, design, you know. And uh, if if folks want to find out about what you do there, they can yeah. go to the uh, links in the chat. But do you want to tell us just a little bit about what people might find when they uh, when they browse around on the web for you? And there's there's multiple links. We've got your website, we've got your Instagram, we've got your YouTube channel, and I think yeah. your Facebook. So if you're watching and you're interested in the stuff Paris is talking about, um, you can check out the links in the video description below the video. But fill people in on what they can find there. Sure. So I mean, right now summer camps are going big. You know, so we have uh, lots of uh, summer camps going on. Uh, we got, I think, uh, we're doing Lego Pokemon this week. We got Lego Superheroes next week. And uh, then we have our own, we create our own curriculum using the We Do Kit. So we have a Space Wars, uh, you know, Star Wars. You can't say Star Wars. So you say Space Wars, Robotics. And, uh, you know, although there's no affiliation between Space Wars and Star Wars. It's just completely coincidental. <laughs> cool. I'll just call it Trek Wars. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, we do engineering classes too um you know and uh we got a great junior engineers class for ages four to seven and that's a super fun one um yeah so uh if you go to the web and check out our summer camps you'll see all that we also do a lot of professional development and training for teachers uh so we have a class on coding for elementary school teachers and engineering for elementary school teachers for example um and we do a lot actually but actually we have a lot of adults that come take our classes um which is pretty fun it's nice just to put your hair down and just like come in <laughs> do it with your son or your grandson or something like that or daughter as it were yeah. and uh just i had to, in fact i i still last summer we had uh i still remember it was just so stark you know we had um we had a couple of empty nesters you know they grow their kids were grown they came in here and celebrated their 25th anniversary and did engineering and robotics for three days that's what they did we, we have people like that come in all the time. So we love it. Um, it's just a great way. It's a nice central part uh, focus for the community. And we're in all the schools, Canton Public Schools, and all up and down Hart, uh, Hartford and Litchfield and New Haven counties in Connecticut. So it's, it's just a wonderful community. Can't say enough good things about it. Well, that's awesome. Uh, be sure, if you're watching, to check out the links to Paris's various channels and uh, sites in the description of the video below. Um, Super Collector said, uh, Space Wars Lepin. Lepin. Oh, geez. so <laughs> Brian, Brian, given the new direction of uh, Beyond the Brick, that should be a segment you can uh, work in in the near future, right? Uh, that's actually what's replacing uh, the quarantine cast is going to be Lepin Tuesdays with your host, Lepin Larry. So right. I'll be taking on a new uh, section of who I am and, and you know, making it happen that way. Yeah, a really fake-looking Brian. Guys should awesome. gone with Roblox. Just saying. Cy O'Connor is here. Hello, Cy. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, um, Boone. hey, Boone. If I may just do one more, I because I forgot. For yeah, all absolutely. folks that are not local to Connecticut, we do teach over the web as well. Uh, do you know circuits and and uh, Roblox and Lego design using Studio and and every, everything else. So there's plenty of things for people to check out if they're even if they're not local to Connecticut. Awesome. Thank you. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. And everybody can find that uh, using one of your links in the dis video description, correct? Absolutely. Lily. Awesome. Um, Paris, do you have anything in that room that uh, is a, a creation of yours that you'd like to show us? Uh, you know what? Uh, so some of the previous um, things that we've... I, I don't remember if I was on uh, your... I think I, I don't remember. Excuse me. 
but uh you know i have a lot of my own personal stuff at, at my house so uh i don't i don't really bring it here cool well we'll get to we'll get uh we'll get to see some of that from you at some time in the future all right absolutely my cool buddy. moto moto man you got anything there that you can show us yep. hi hi take your pick hello oh you, that viking boat you want to see love it got it i knocked this out today you did but the rainbow had to come down it was too darn big i just installed yeah. this booth uh the bookcase behind me mm. but yeah it uses a ton of those monkey kid uh elements from bricks yeah, and pieces that is so rad and then There's the good old hulls from the uh Yep, just a simple, clean design. Are those holes uh, from? Was there? What else have you not seen since? Was there a Was there a Viking line? A Viking? Yeah, so theme? there, there, mm -hmm, there was a Viking theme. It was short lived, but that's where you got these uh, specialized Viking holes. Nice, yeah, cool. And I just got did two you, of them off of Bricklink and went to town. Did you save the pieces of the rainbow so that you can display it in the future, or? Did it completely get? Oh yeah, apart? yeah. It's it's completely still assembled. It's just out. It's out in the brick pit area. Um, awesome. Getting ready to to you know I have to break it down for flying to places. That's where that's what I'm going to be showing at Brick Rodeo. Is this belt? Um, have you seen? Oh, here's another little one day effort. So there was a tricky bricks challenge. That's you know Richard oh, Flynn gosh. to put Liz into. A belt. Yes. Nice. Love it. So there's Liz, and this is the Liz mech, and it's sort of like my version of the uh, Aliens loader. And Paris knows exactly what's going on with these arms because it's a reuse. Yeah. I, of a, of I the model absolutely, we, we had there. Your secret is safe with me. I yep. absolutely love it. Um, Moto, you're a master of, uh, of bars and clips. Yep. It's, yeah, it's uh, a clip and bar build. Oh, here's... All these are like one-day belts. Have you seen the Meow Mac? Mm -hmm. Meow Mac. Oh, yeah. hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I need parts. to do... There we go. There you go. There it is. Meow so there's, Mac. A, there's the kitty with the couch on the inside, and then <laughs> it's a cat driving a cat. <laughs> I like it. Oh, so this was eyes, a... too. You're so good with the eyes, Moto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, so this was a one day slam it out build um, kind of thing just to see if I could do, you know, shaping with uh, plates here and there. It's not that great, but it's good enough, I guess, to display. Um, you've seen the car. Oh, talking about Lego Masters. So here's a little Lego Masters inside thing. So when I was there, we had a week that we had to self quarantine, right? So Pars really? helped me knock out these little these little motobots, and they're fully oh. posable little motobots. And so every he, cast member got a copy. He is dabbing. Where's Tim? Is so he's doing on? the Tim. He's doing the dad dab. He's doing the dad dab, and he's got a he's got a fleet mark in the air. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Uh, real quick, I gotta say, uh, Melissa, Melissa with a twenty dollars super chat says hi, Batman, oh, wow. with a big smile. Thank you, Melissa. Wow. Thank you, Melissa. Melissa is always here. Melissa has been supporting this live chat uh, for a very long time. Thank you, Melissa. You are awesome. Uh, uh, let's see. This is amazing. The the Last the psycho thing. Raven Claw says, "Hey, Moto. Sorry, you guys got sent off. You and Paris <laughs> were my favorite team. Thanks, bro." Is that who is that? Oh, is that someone you know? Thank you so much. Wait, I don't know. I I I'm Wait. just happy I have a fan. Yeah, no. <laughs> Feel the love, man. Feel the love. Uh, thank you. All right. So hey, I like recognize you. this guy. Um, yeah. This is an updated version of the Motobot. So I've shown this, I believe, before, but what I didn't show was. I've been able to since uh, make the head go up and down and left and right to articulate it. It still has the articulation in the middle here. 
and then I redid the elbows and the knees um, to give them a lot more stiffness and articulation so that mm. when I put it back up there, it's a one foot stand. It's standing on one foot, perfectly balanced, looking up into the sky, the reaching for the stars pose. And you, oh, I awesome. realize you can't see way up there. Um, yeah, that's a bunch of stuff I have. Um, I can show you what I'm, what I'm working on, but I don't, I think we're nearing time, aren't we? We're 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 gonna go over Up a little to bit tonight, probably if uh, if you don't mind. But let's um real quick, let's go to question, and then we'll come back, and you can show us. Okay. We'll leave people hanging. Hold you on. can show us what you're working on, okay? So Abby oh, says, yes. let's do let's do a question. Did, did you become really good friends with everyone on the show, like a family? Oh, <laughs> yes, unequivocally, yes. I, I I feel the same way about season one, but I think <laughs> it it seems like season two is even tighter than season one. Like season really? one, we've we've got a whole thing, and 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 like we're we're pretty tight in season one. Um, especially I feel like there's sort of like a core group that are just really really tight from season one. But I think it's it, from an outside perspective, it sounds to me like maybe that core group in season two is is bigger is like pretty much the entire cast is that is that an accurate assumption uh, yeah so far i think a lot of it too was due to the covid compliant production i mean it's just like you had to you okay. only had you couldn't do any i mean it was just us <laughs> yeah but it was the people too i think you know um mm -hmm. it's really you know I, I mean i didn't expect that that that's for sure i didn't expect to have that um it, it was just a wonderful um you know i'm already at a loss of words but it, it's just a wonderful experience and um something i'll just always continue to share with my my, my castmates on mm. it, it's just so cool to be so close to so to these people in such short a time it's just fantastic yeah a a absolutely i, I love yeah. to hear that I i'm so glad it's it's so it makes me so happy that lego masters is the kind of show that that can foster that right that it's not your cutthroat uh i mean they 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 try to be right uh it is a competition no they, no they no, try no. To... um so so that was one of the differences in production between one and two in okay. our season um the messaging was one that they didn't they wanted to lean in to the positive nature of the aflo community and of course we represent it and they wanted the drama to come from the difficulty of the challenges, not the um, competitive nature of contestants, you know, trying to tear each other apart. And mm. I think the, the, the guy in charge has done an interview talking about this, where Lego Masters is um, part of these um, types of reality com competition shows that show off n niche skills but are meant to be very wholesome and heartwarming and not uh, an all out fight. Mm. And so far yeah. they've been really true to their word. Um, they always said that we, they, they were going to make us shine and they, they really did. I, I, I have to compliment them on, on staying true to their word. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Uh, Moto, we are two minutes, 34 I mean, seconds yeah. away oh, from our game. So uh, can you show what you're working on in that amount of time? Okay. Uh, I can show one part of it, and I hope I don't pull a moto. So here we go. So stick around. We are checking out what moto is working on, and uh, we're going to play a game together. Everyone in the live chat, you'll have an opportunity what? as soon as he's done. Oh. So I wanted to do the hanging brick challenge, and this is a hot air balloon that's being popped. It's completely hollow with no structures on the inside other than the skin. It's amazing. Exoskeleton. Wow, that's awesome, man. So, so you can building? see it's completely hollow all the way through. Were you what showing that? that on one of... I, I was yeah, curious about... I was about... showing that live stream and it completely imploded. <clears throat> Go ahead. Ask the question. I was wondering about the build technique, if you, if you can talk about the build technique. Uh, it's all mixel, mixel top ball joints um, going all the way through the core holding it together and then um yeah that's the two minutes 
Nice. Whew. It did, right. it did fall apart. We, we, but yeah, one time I was holding it up twice, twice ripped out from the top and collapsed and shattered all over the floor. So this time it's ready to go. All right. Cool. Hey, well, thank you. If you've joined us in the last little bit, we are just about to play a game. We opened up the Rockin' uh, Shark earlier was the mystery minifig. Brian has shorter hair, and we've heard a lot about Moto and Paris's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> undertakings what, that's not the right word um, goings on yes. in, uh, in Moto and Paris's life and uh, so we'll play a game and then we'll have a little bit of Q&A so think about any other questions if we didn't get to your question earlier in the chat we'll have some Q&A in just a little bit but we got to play this game and we are 30 seconds away this is the Brictorious Word Search this is a game we have never played before uh, I don't know how it's going to go we're going to give it a try right here live. There are five cat, uh, five rounds. There are nine words that you're looking for in each round. All you have to do is look for the word and type it the way it appears in the live chat. And if you are the first person to type that word in the live chat, uh, you will get some points wow. for finding that word first. This round, look at that grid. This round, there are general Lego words to be found in this round so you are looking scouring that oh joseph said build and moto moto is in the stream and won some points moto said play dave morgan got lego joseph said build dave also got lego land mr bins and bricks said collect brickham's den said a full we have three more Three more mystery words in there. These are general Lego words. One is, uh, let me think if I can give you some clues. One is, uh, oh, hey, I just bought a brand new Lego blank. <laughs> That's cheating, Moto. Come on. You got the chat delay on your side. <laughs> okay. That's right. Hands, hands off. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop right now. You I just realized that. Play? Um, and then let me think if I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head what the others were. I'm gonna have to pull them up. Oh, I've been looking for who was brick. it? Oh, mini fig. Nailed it. Dave Morgan got mini fig, mini fig. And up. Moto just gave you a just gave you a big guess. You don't are a big clue. I mean, you don't actually have I'm to see looking. the word to guess it in the live I mean, chat. It's got to be in there. It's such hope, a common hope term, I didn't, but I don't see hope, it. hope I didn't spell it wrong. Let's see. Um, oh, you know what? There it is. Who who said it? Brick. Sorry little it. oddity. Little oddity, said Brick. So Dave Morgan got a score of nine. Um, wow. Good points. Oh, let's see. Dave Morgan. Dave Morgan. Dave Morgan got three there. And we will see the totals in just a moment. Um. Oh, I guess we don't see the totals between, but that's all right. No. Nope. So here we are. This is um. I'm not going to tell you what the category is here because I think three minutes is plenty of time to find some. Oh, I I see a name. <laughs> Mark. All right. Abby found Mark. There we go. So these are the names. This category is names of people who have appeared boom, boom, boom. here on Boon Builds. So we got uh, Mr. Bins and Bricks found oh, Moto. Wow. Brickham's yep. Den found Paris. Mark cool. Peterson found Boone. Abby found and Mark. We got the Perry. Yep, Studs the Perry Manor was the one I saw found right Perry. Away. And uh, I gave you a big clue earlier on in Come the on. stream. Uh, very early in the stream. Let's see. Mr. Mr. Slobricta. Slobricta. Not Brian. Oh, Ms. Sorry. Ms. Slobricta. Uh, yeah, there and you go. Dave Someone Morgan got Sadovich, the Jake Sadovich, <laughs> famed, famed fan designer of the Lego Ship in a Bottle. We got two more in there. Let me see if I can see what they are. I'll go and I'll 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 give you a clue if I can uh, if I can give you a clue. This is. I'm looking for Holly. Um, I'm looking for Holly. Somebody well, just McElwee. got McElwee. Joseph just got yeah. McElwee. And uh, Moto 
just gave another clue. Oh, and Abby Holly. got Holly. Abby got there Holly. Is. There so is. I'm just right. guessing what, what I would put in there. <laughs> Boone and I must oddly think alike. It's kind of crazy to think. So, so we give we give scores. This score, this game is scored by speed. The speed at which you can enter the names. And um, basically what it does is it, it divides the number of uh, it divides the number of seconds that the round took and, and applies scores that way. Um, and then there'll be one big winner at the very end. Wow. And let's see. I don't remember what this one is. I don't remember what the... Uh, I think this is themes. Themes. I see one. Yeah, I see a theme. I think, I think this I is see themes. A theme in there. I see one. Yep. And there are Mark Peterson got creator. Congratulations, Mark. So, um, oh, oh, oh real quick sure. there. Oh, John Reese with Adventurers. Power. Little of Oddity course. with City. Nick with Pirates. Mark with another ideas there. I was um, shaking my head at one of these, Boone. Come on, really? Man, there are just, a couple. The chest is shredding out the themes. Cody O got okay, back in. Is that the one you're go. shaking your head at? <laughs> no, Time Cruisers, really? Doc got Time Cruisers. Oh, <laughs> Doc got Time Cruisers. For for multiple word answers, there are no spaces, so you have to type them without the spaces. If you see a multiple word answer, is Scala in there? <laughs> uh, d- why are you shaking your head at time cruisers? I doubt it. That, that, one of the great, one of the beloved, one of the beloved themes of Lego oh. history. Oh, Boone, Boone, that is a complicated theme to discuss. W- where Brian, where did Time Cruisers end up in that big thing that we did on Beyond the Brick, ranking uh, all the themes? It must have been like D tier. I'm sorry, Boone. D. No, it's it fine. was close. It's fine. It was fine. All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to give you some clues. What were the other ones that I thought of? Okay, the last two are space sub themes. There's one right there, Ice Planet. Ice, Ice Planet. Planet. <clears throat> the last one is a space sub theme, and there Boom. it is, Blacktron, Blacktron. Studs Manor. Got Blacktron, Galaxy 33, got awesome. Ice Planet. Great job. So you can see the rankings based on speed. But of course, if you get multiple, if you find multiple answers in multiple rounds, those answers will add up to the final scores at the end of the game. And all of those themes had something Man, in common. Houston's did really well. The, the next round is full of answers that all have something in common and I'll be interesting I'll be interested to hear if you can figure out I see what one. these I see have in common. I see one already. I know what they are. Should I give the hint? You want to give a hint? Should I give a Mark hint? Peterson got Galador yeah, it's, it's without hint. Types, I think. There you go. These answers Boom, have homemaker. something in yep. common. Duplo <laughs> So Mark Peterson got Galador. Willie Ball gets Technic. Marvel 25 got Duplo. Um, Monica Berry said Scala. Cool guy, cool guy Dom 2 said Bionicle. And Scoss Frankel got Homemaker. We've got three more in there. So the, the binding factor here is themes that have figures that are not minifigures. Anthony V got Belleville, and there are two more themes that I thought of that have figures that are not minifigures. So this does not include themes that didn't have their own figures. Um, Which one? One, one is going to be very difficult, and really? uh, you've got only a minute and 42 seconds. And the figures that came with this theme were sometimes referred to as finger puppets. Oh. What theme? Oh, did the finger I know what they are. <laughs> come in? You're going you're going like really early. That's actually when I found uh basic, that's it. Mark right. Peterson got basic. Basic, there you go. And and the finger puppet figures aren't actually as old as I thought they were. Um I think they were late 80s and early early 90s. I I would have pegged them for like 70s, but and there's one more. Let me see if I can think of what it is. Galador, Technic, Duplo, Bionicle, is it Jack? Scala, Belleville. Oh, no, someone put Jack basic, still, but it didn't register. Homemaker. Oh, it didn't register, huh? And I need to what write about, these down when I create them because I can't remember. I can't remember <laughs> where it was. Oh, I did not. That that would have been a good one. I did not put Fabuland in here. I should have. I'm, uh, I'm ashamed. How could you forget Jack Stone? Come I'm ashamed on. of Jack myself. Jack Stone, Fabuland. <laughs> 
What about um, Fran Cruisers, but not Jack Stone? Did they do? Did that? they do? <laughs> I thought of Jack Stone, and that was when I was considering not doing two word answers, and then I ended up doing Primo? it anyway. But did you do Primo? I didn't. Uh, I thought uh, Duplo. Here though. Uh oh, Moto just gave you a. Nope. Moto just gave you a a big clue. If you heard what Moto said, he gave the answer away. It's the last it, one. Shoot, and it has very, it. very big, round figures. Primo. Uh, Mark Peterson comes in with Primo. I think Mark and Mark Peterson and Dave Morgan are probably some of the highest on yeah, the overall right at this point. Peterson. The overall uh, uh, leaderboard. The next round oh, these people is want what? That shark man. I can't remember. I can't remember what the next round <laughs> is. Okay. Uh, oh, I, that was I that was round I'll four. That was round four. So the uh -huh. next round is going to be even more challenging. Oh boy. Perhaps. And these are names. These are proper names. <laughs> proper names oh, that you might I, associate with the <clears throat> Lego brand or the Lego company. Olé, Lego olé, olé, olé. Hmm. What's the name of that special brick? There it is. There you go. Joseph Joseph yeah. gets billined the birthplace of Lego. There it is. Uh, Jesus, Jesus Kong 333 gets Corbett, Amy Corbett, uh, one of the esteemed Brickmasters on Lego Masters United States. Oh, John wow. Reese gets Christensen, the family name of the uh, the Lego family. That is the, the family that has owned Lego since its birth. We've got some other names in there. Some other names. Dave Morgan gets Berard. Of course, Jamie Berard. <laughs> Longtime uh, Lego creator designer came from the Lego fan community before he was a Lego employee. We've got Studs Manor, got Psyche, Mike Psyche, another oh, uh, widely wow. regarded cre uh, creator designer. Any we've missed here. Uh, so that gives you maybe some clues as to some other things you might find. You're going to find a Christensen first name in there. Ramson, S Samir, Samir got yep. l uh, got what's Ramson. lining? Yep. Did I leave that? Lining? Yeah. lining. I don't know what lining is. That must have been like one of the default answers I left in that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brickham's Den got Ramsden, Justin Ramsden, otherwise known as Moto's creator. <laughs> Dick Sadovich yep, got killed. Career. The first name of the uh, I it was a recently retired. Lego CEO and president, and there's one more in there, and of course I can't remember what it is. What is Someone heck? said our net. It's not our net. Um, Erling, like boy. Erling or Travis? So we got, for let's see. We got. Um, it it might be. Maybe I left two. I meant to put Erling in there, but uh, I may have left two two words that uh that were not a uh, that were not official answers like for this words. category. I might have accidentally left two default words. And uh, let me see if I can see what they are. We've only got 26 seconds left. So let's see. I see Tron. If I can see what it is. <laughs> uh, if Tron works, that's going to be Tron. hilarious. Apparently. Uh, what happens if I pause game? All layers. Word search game. Oh, people, people are literally just yeah. typing in whatever they see now like Not even words names, that they see <laughs> that may be it's that may worse. be oh <laughs> it was it was fanella it was fanella uh, long time lego Finella? friends What's... designer fanella and uh oh, wow. she's been i've interviewed fanella has been on beyond the brick a number of times i got to meet her a couple times she was one of the designers that spoke on the lego uh what was lego con just uh, about a week and a half ago fanella oh. So somewhere Let's in there. The All right. The Peterson, big wow. winner. Uh, in third place, Joseph. Joseph, congratulations with 24 points. In second place with 38 points, Dave Morgan. And in first place with 41 points, quick draw, Mark Peterson. Congratulations, Mark. You are the winner of the Rockin' Shark from video. Go ahead and shoot me a message at uh, boon at boonbuilds.com 
and you can tell me how I can get this thing to your possession. Congratulations. And uh, I think that went all right. Uh, maybe maybe we'll play uh maybe we'll play a awesome. victorious word search once a month or something like that or once every couple months. But um all right. Let us know so cool. in the live chat what you thought of the uh, Victorious word search. We might do that again someday in the future. Not, it's not going to be every week, but uh, but we'll see. All right, this is it, everybody. We're, let's go. Let's go five minutes. We're already five minutes over. Uh, can we go another five minutes and have some questions? All right, Q and A. This I'm is it. Hey, for however long you want to do this. And a, a full Q and A. Put those Q and A questions for any of us in the live chat. Moto, Paris, Brian, or Boone, we will yep. answer any and all questions. Well, not all. We won't answer any. We'll answer reasonable questions that are uh, on the topics that we are allowed to discuss. And, uh, and we'll go from there. Doc Sampson says, uh, any audience part participation is top notch. More, please. Sounds good, Doc. Love it. We'll do. I'm going to keep looking for more opportunities. Um, I had a really big, awesome idea that I told Brian about a little while ago, and I think I ran into a, a hiccup that's going to prevent us from doing that soon. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Because I, I, what I said was, it's not built for YouTube, but I think I have a workaround. And uh, so, Boone, the there's work, a good question. The, the workaround, the workaround um, would be a was really, asking... really long workaround. Moto, what they ask? They were asking if the backboard that you built in the commercial was your build. Yeah, it was. Um, who asked that? Did you see that? You in don't the, have to answer. In yeah. The chat? Um, uh, yeah, sorry. It was. Um, what do boop a doop a doop boop? It's already like gone. I mean, this thing is flying. Here it is. Jesus Kong 333. Sorry, Tweety you dunked on you. Did you really build that backboard? I really did. Yeah, I really did. I actually built two. Um, one was a. Uh, one was a hero and one was a stunt. They never actually filmed the stunt because um, it, it was only about 85% accurate to the hero. And they thought they might use it in case they wanted a second explosion to just like capture some different angles of pieces flying. But uh, they liked the first explosion so much that they decided not to build. Uh, they decided not to explode the hero and uh, uh, the, the stunt. And actually you can see. Some some parts of the stunt are back here, so I don't know. You can see like the little oh pink yeah. back there. Um, this... Sorry, just sec. This was um ah. this this was this was part of the uh, the the Looney Tunes kind of thing, but again this this was the stunt. the The really good looking one got blown up. Um, and each, each of these, uh -oh. each of those backboards had uh, around 10,000 pieces in them. So it was, oh, close, it was a close to a 20,000 element build. Um, and I'll, I'll say that, uh, we shot that some, I saw somebody earlier ask when, when that was taped and it was taped right about a month ago. I think we were taping in like the second weekend of June. And uh, I was still waiting. I was still opening parts from Bricklink. I was still opening parts boxes from Bricklink on the morning of delivery day. Uh, it was a very, very short turnaround. Uh, I built, I stood for more hours at this table nonstop than I have ever stood anywhere um, in my life, including uh 24 hour live streams and lego build uh lego masters build challenges this the backboards was by far my most intense wow. build project That's saying a lot yeah uh yeah, Boone, samir there was, so says another, another interest yeah go ahead oh no you can go ahead well let's let's hold on to that moto because we'll bring yeah. back your another interesting thing what do you guys think lego will do for the upcoming future with newer sets none of us know and and those of us that know aren't allowed to say anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> Moto, we'll we'll take we'll take Samir's question and say uh, uh, something similar. If you if you could if you could have Lego make any one awesome thing in the future, what would you what would you want it to be? I think we know Brian's. Do we know Brian's? Well, okay. So you obviously know my answer uh, for for a selfish 
uh, reason, right? My selfish want, but I think for the greater a fall community, I think there is a market for a 5,000 piece, $500 plus ultimate end all be all classic castle set modernized with modern Lego elements. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, you know, I think the, um, I bet they know that. I, I think the, uh, the, uh, that's, that's both, right. both, uh, Bricklink design programs have kind of proven that to be accurate. Haven't they? Absolutely. Um, Oh, Holy smokes. Thank you, Cody. Cody. Yeah, I, think Cody. I job, taught, hey. I taught a boon builds. <laughs> I did. I did see a boon build. Thank you, Cody Otley, with fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. I think fifty dollars should get a song. There should be like a. I need to get all that like uh, IFTT if not whatever yeah. thing set up and uh, and do some some horns and lights and confetti for a fifty dollars. Cody, thank you very much. Hey, for fifty dollars, um, y'all should come to Brick Slopes at the end of August in Utah. That's Cody's show, and uh, he and his friends there in Utah put on an awesome show, and I'm going to be there. I are you going to go? Oh, okay, I, I wasn't sure. I didn't want to. I didn't want to like. I didn't want to call you out. I couldn't tell if you, you weren't. Like if you weren't free. telling I'm anybody, I'm going. Castle, uh, uh, Jake Sadovich. Sadovich is going to be there. He said Castle sold out uh, first in each round. Yep, Castle. Castle is a thing, y'all. Yeah. Get on it. All right. Listen. Hey, we and, have... And all uh, the copies we... were uh, bought by Mark Erickson. <laughs> <laughs> Moto, you were going to say something interesting earlier. You said, uh, you know, another interesting thing. I told you to hold it. Yeah. Um, there was a question that I thought was kind of unique. It it, it was, if you, were desi- if you were to design a Lego Masters challenge... What would it be? Ooh. And that that to me is a fascinating question. Um, well, I can, if you need time, I can go first. Do, 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 do. Go ahead, Moto. So I think what would be interesting is to do a challenge where for eight hours you have to build a castle at a certain distance away from each other. <clears throat> and then the twist is at the end of that eight hours, you get another six hours to make some sort of destructive device that will trip, that will attempt to obliterate the castles of your competitors. Ooh, a twist. So you build yeah, for eight yeah. hours a castle and then six hours it's announced you have to build something like a ballista or a mechanical contraption to destroy all the opposing castles. And yeah. then you let people just go to town <laughs> and fire at each other. <laughs> Paris, you got one? Yeah. Um, I would love to, to, to challenge uh, a future Lego Masters cast to build um, the next Lego Wonder of the World. Mm. And just leave it at that. Yeah, that's a good that's a good open ended one. Holy moly! What is the the next wonder of the world? Brian, you got one. Uh, I'll I'll use the answer. This was actually brought up on the quarantine cast. So I suggested before a monochrome challenge. Mm. You get assigned a color, and you have to convey depth and scale using only one color. Oh, that's a great challenge, Brian. That would the Australia. That would be cool. That would be very nope. cool. <clears throat> Any of them. All right. Mine That'd is um idea. mine is it like an RC challenge where the team is both responsible for building and controlling whatever the thing is. <laughs> um you know, we we had that a little bit on we had that a little bit on uh droid challenge in season one, but but not i mean that wasn't a huge part of it and it didn't really end up being part of the the story in the in the final cut of the show but i think you know um having uh you know a team where in where you you have to build like a remote control robot or a car or something and then maybe like 
you also have to build a challenge course for another team or something like that, where you you, you get pitted against a team, and and you're both building a a vehicle that you think can can beat their course, and you're building a course that you think can beat their vehicle, and and wow. you're doing that at the same oh, time. Wow. Um, I think I think that could be really cool, but it would be so complex. I don't know if it would ever be uh, attainable for I'd hey, watch that. Bell with. 499 super chat. I feel like there was a lot of challenges with movement in Lego Masters. Think it's odd more playsets don't have that when valued by Lego designers. Fascinating question. Uh, hmm. I so well, well Lego well, Masters well, is a totally different set of parameters as compared to a playset meant for children. I, I think they're part of Lego Ma and I mean I'm the most unqualified on this panel to say this or speak to any of it but when you're having Lego Masters they want to make it as interactive and cool looking for the audience right you're not going to play with it so it's more for show whereas if you're selling a product mass market you want it's for kids you want to have play features and a lot of those elements wouldn't necessarily resonate with a lot of play sets thanks Brian Paris you said m twice fascinating question why well, um, you know, de definitely it just, I thought, uh, I thought that, the, you know, I thought that this, this season in particular, they seem to want to, uh, I mean, want to have movement and engineering and technic and stuff in, I mean, that's the only, you know, that's the primary reason I think that someone like me would be actually invited to attend, but, uh, cause it wasn't my artistry. Um, so I think there was a lot of that this year. Um, so that that's why I find it fascinating that. You know. mm. Yeah, interesting. And I you know, to do so. so. What was that last thing you said? So I think a number of the cast castmates uh, did find it difficult to do that. Yeah, yeah. They're more about the artistry, so. Yeah, um, it was. Em I would say on season one, it was emphasized heavily from the very first challenge. Movement was was a huge emphasis. It was not one of the big three. But it was certainly a major component of like that technical and storytelling, um, you know, and, and aesthetic. Well, y'all, this has been so much fun. I wish we had another hour. Um, I, I, I don't want us to go on for another hour, but you are all lovely. Paris, thank you for being here. Thank you, my friend. See you soon. Moto, thank you for coming. Brian, thank you for having me. It is me. always a pleasure. I really appreciate you being with us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see. We're going to go to the chat. Oh, Dawn, it was great having you here. Steve, Jesus Kong, 333, the cool factor. Oh, cool factor. I didn't even realize you were here until now. Cody, oh, Jake Sadovich. Steve was here. We had uh, Grant was with us, Willie Ball. Little Oddity was here. We've got a uh, cool guy, Dom. Shy time is my time. Said, hey, fam, shy time. Oh, man. Marvel Kid 25. S. Cost Frankel. Abby. Abby was with us. Abby said, I got to go. Thanks for the entertainment tonight. Absolutely. That's what we are here for. Samir, thanks for coming. Doc Sampson, thanks for coming. Willie Ball, thanks for coming. Hey, everybody, please check out the links in the description below. You can find Moto's links. You can find Paris's links. Uh, go find uh, go find Brian wherever he's at. Holy smokes. Uh, a last moment super chat. Mr. Bins and Bricks with $4.99. Don't stop believing. Thank you very much, Mr. Bins and, Mr. Bins and Bricks. Um, if you like this, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to Boon Builds if you don't want to miss future videos about lego awesomeness next week we have uh uh we've got maria and philip maria and philip from lego master season two will be here next thursday and uh, my good buddy mark crookshank from season one will be back co-hosting with me next thursday night you're all awesome i hope you go build something amazing and until next time we'll see you later